Hi, we're BFOL, Brother Fans of LEGO, here today with a sort of review. This is obviously the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Pirate Ship. This set is amazing, okay? This is not an official review, though, of the Creator 3-in-1 Pirate Ship, which I may do sometime here soon. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. This is a bigger edition. I realize that the Creator 3 one Pirate Ship, it's great, okay, it's amazing, but it's not as big as, say, if you put it up next to the Lord of the Rings Pirate Ship Ambush or Pirates of the Caribbean Black Pearl or something. It's not that big. It's a, technically a small ship next to them. I wanted it to be bigger, so a couple months ago I went in after I made my Lego Pirates uh, Davy Jones movie, went in, fixed it up, made it a double ship. Now, I've seen this done by some other people, and it looked amazing, so I went and tried it out. I've also done some modifications to the ship itself beside the obvious added length. So I'm just going to quickly go through, because it's not a review, just going to quickly go through and show off everything here. Alright, so... As you can see, the hull has been the hull has been elongated. Basically, if you think of the original ship, it's just the front, that one with the two cannon ports, and then the back. Me, I went in and added in practically from there to there. All new. And this is totally possible to be done if you have the right parts for it. It wasn't hard. <laughs> it wasn't easy either, but it wasn't hard to do. It was actually quite fun, and I really enjoyed it. So, it still has the cannon ports, and just because I wanted... One of my major things was that, even though it was called a pirate ship, I felt like it didn't really have everything that made it feel like a pirate ship. So I went in and gave it a hold. They already gave you technically a hold, but it was more of the area where you shoot the cannons from. So I went in and I added in a bunch more stuff. Now the people you see on it are all for my new movie I'm currently filming and working on. Lego Pirates 2. I'm not going to reveal the name because it, it will reveal too much about the movie. It's so, it's so far it's turning out great. I'm over halfway done so it will be released soon. I'll put the trailer out as soon as I have more pictures for it and more clips for it and it'll be great. So, as you can see here, the front hasn't really changed, okay? Except the fact that I took off the original mermaid masthead and instead put on um, Teenage Groot just because it looks wooden and he looked pretty good on there for what I needed. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't really change anything here near the front except the fact that I did throw in... Uh, let's see here if I can get over roughly. Yeah. I did throw in an additional two barrels. Basically, there was an already an added-in barrel that I had put in a the spare gun and the spare cutlass into. But I went and added in another one that had a couple more cutlasses and guns just because they always had the barrels of cutlasses and guns on the deck. Then, as you go up, I we have done a Lego parts order. So I was able to get these grappling hooks that I've wanted for ages that have the... Uh, angled base, so I put that up there, like that, and then I put some additional chain there. Um, then as you go back down to the gate, there is an interesting little thing here. I put in a ship's bell, because I love ship's bells, even like the parts of the Caribbean movies, you always see them, you always see the bells on the ships for ringing, and they actually ring them a couple different times each day to do like different shifts and stuff like that. I've done a lot of research on this pirate stuff and I love it. I love pirates. This is great. So I wanted to make a ship that really felt like a good one. So I did. <laughs> then as you, uh, give me one second here, just to fix up that. Okay now. Flip it around. There. So now as you can see, there's these ropes on the side here. That may not make a lot of sense, but they really do. 
if you take it, if you latch it off of the rigging, or, you know, just generally pull on it, it will actually turn the sails for you. And <laughs> it's an amazing little action, and it is, it's great. I invented it one evening after I had built the ship. Maybe the night I built it or something like that, but it was really fun to try to do. So, as I mentioned, I think I mentioned, <laughs> I do not actually have four of the red uh, cannon ports door pieces, the flag pieces there, so I boarded them up on the back one because, number one, I just didn't want them there. Number two, I didn't have enough cannons to completely fill four of them up and stuff. I, I mean, it works. So, then, the major thing, probably the major reason why I even made this was to have a hull on the ship. So I went and gave the ship a hull. Let me just get this up here. So you can get a good down view on it. There we go. So now it can be hinged upwards because it's on clips and there's a lot of different things down in there. But before we get to that, I also put a deck on top of the cannons. That was actually something I did the very night I got the ship. I did this a couple months after I got the ship, like last month or the month before. I think it was sometime in March, but I put this deck on literally the night I got it. I had to do some modifications on it, though, so that deck that you see right there isn't the original that I did put on. But I just, even when I got the ship, I didn't like the hole in the middle. I felt like it needs a deck, so I gave it a deck. You still get down in there, and in there, there's I just threw in some extra tarp and one of the rams that they used to push the cannonballs back in there. And I threw in some stuff that's very essential like that. So then if you go into the hull, there is this box, which all, every box has something in it. Just various little articles, like this one has a knife, a key, a pot, and a map, I'm pretty sure, and like a pan. Uh, this one has, I think, uh, some money that they took. There's also just some extra accessories, like this blender bus, and there's a broom, and a whip, and a pitchfork. And there's some barrels and crates down in there. Now, like I said, this was a very fun, like, seriously, very fun build. I really enjoyed doing this, and I just wanted to show it to you quickly before you end up seeing it eventually in my LEGO Pirates 2. I'm really excited to do that, and the trailer will be eventually released here in the next month or so, I guess, and whenever I get the movie done. Right now, I'm waiting for a LEGO Parts order to get here because I do not have all the parts that I need to complete my other ship. Now this movie will also have some things I've never tried before, like a, my first ship battle and my first sword fight in any of my movies between my channels. It is amazing. So, bye for now, and be sure to subscribe to BF World, Brother Friends of LEGO, and be sure to check out our other channel, Living Bricks Literature. Bye.